What's good, y'all? We've come back here for another video. Hey, bro, today we got a review. Shield Hero Season 2 ended this week. And we're here to give you our thoughts on it. You know, we're going to give you the whole rundown of what we thought. This is strictly just based on Season 2. It was really good, so we just want to talk about it. Let us know what we, uh, we liked, what we disliked, and, you know, just give your overall thoughts. So, let's get it. Alright y'all, so for me personally, I really liked um, Shield Hero Season 2. I know it means that I think it was some goat shit or great, but I think it was better than okay and mid. I thought it was really good. Um, Maybe a tad bit less good than Season 1. Around the same though, very, very around the same. Like I'd put it in the same tier, but if I had to give an, an edge to one, maybe one, just to add a couple more episodes. But overall, Season 2 was really good. I liked the whole theme, the plot. There was definitely some a little plot holes in my life. We still don't even know why they were in a whole new world. That was probably the only plot hole that I'm still wondering about. But other than that, they did a really good job on the plot. Um, that's what I was looking for in the beginning of the season. I was like, they gotta come with some plot shit. Because Shield Hero Season 1 was great fighting, but it didn't have crazy plot. It was just waves. But now they had a whole new thing with this this turtle and Keo, the new villain. Keo was a cool villain. He really was. He uh, reminded me of Roshi Maru, and he was pretty cool. So, and even at the end, bro, he created his own wave. He fooled that girl. The girl was saying that he was good, but no. And then in the end, we beat him. That was a cool fight, too. And the whole thing, just losing the squad and then having to regain the squad, it was cool. And um, throughout the whole journey, it was really fun to watch. It was very entertaining. And it's like I said, I really did think it was a good anime all around. Um, this really, it, it, this season really made it move up on my list. Not significantly, maybe like two or three spots, but it definitely showed that it can stay consistent. And you know, sometimes um, animes fumble season two. And in my opinion, they did not fumble season two. It was still really good and watchable. And yeah, and on another note, they really didn't show any people really from season one other than the squad. They really didn't show um, the Cardinal Heroes. I think once when we got back from everything with the meeting, and they didn't show slut or bitch, you know, I wanted to kind of call her slut or bitch on YouTube, as it never did, but um, we weren't reacting during that time, so, you know, but she, we don't need to see her, I don't like her anyway, just would have been funny, but it was, I mean, I guess that's kind of a W, though, because, I mean, I didn't like any of them anyway, to be honest, personally, I think most of the S.H.I.E.L.D. fan base didn't, so yeah, that was cool, and Oats, we got a new character who I really personally like, I think she's the second best character in the show, um, after now, now for me, of course, if now for me isn't your favorite character in the show, I, I don't know how you don't like how you like Shield Hero, but you, 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 I'm not, I, I ain't saying nothing. But Oates was really cool, you know, she really was a good character to us, really mentored our girls on the squad, and she came in clutch, she sacrificed her life too. It took, took a lot of heart to do that, and she was, she was clutch for us. And you know, at the last episode and the final episode, not much happened until the very end when we paid our respects to her and we got vengeance for her too, we slipped her. So it was all good. It was a really good season. I, I, I really did enjoy it personally. Nothing goat wise, but just enjoyed. Yeah, no, if I had the. Um, <clears throat> compared to first season, I'd say like second season is definitely a little bit worse, but not by much. I mean, the first season was just like really hype. Maybe not that much plot, like Fat said, but it was exciting. Like the, the fighting was cool, the power ups were cool, especially the ending when he did like the Iron Maiden shit. Like that was fire. And then, then Shield really turned up after that. And then. Second season, I, it got a little dicey. I got a little worried. I mean, I had faith, but I got a little worried when they showed the turtle, the burger turtle. I was like, this is kind of goofy right now. I can't even lie. Like, I like Shield Zero, but this is pretty goofy. But then literally after the turtle, it just, it like, it didn't get worse. It just got better somehow. Like, literally everything we said were like, we need this to happen. Like, we need the, the plot to heat up. We need like the, the plot twist. It, literally the next episode exactly that happened the plot twist like the turtle was os and then kill was like the real enemy and then we got summoned into a new world and it was like okay this is pretty lit it was pretty lit i mean definitely compared to the, the first season the fighting is like way less like there's way less fighting in this but like that said obviously the plot is way better and you know i agree it's kind agree. of it's interesting like one's heavy fighting and one's heavy plot and like if you if you watch our videos, you know we like we like both. We we carry both in like high regard. Like if it has good plot and good fighting, then it's a certified anime usually. And if it's not, it usually has one or the other. It has like good fighting, shit plot, or you know, vice versa. But this one didn't have that much fighting, but the plot definitely heated up. And I mean honestly, it was entertaining. I mean we watched the whole season. And we we had a good time. So I think second season was definitely worth it. It's like Fat said, above mid good it was good it was a good season i'd say the first season was like great like a great season but this was pretty good nonetheless so i don't know it was season two pretty solid
feel people hating on it like a little bit for too, like too much like because that that tortoise thing was funny like they they showed the tortoise for like one episode like one yeah. like 10 seconds really and he looked really burger king but then people <laughs> yeah. would just started hating on the season automatically right after that like they made up their mind about the whole season just off 10 seconds of cgi yeah. like i feel it was pretty burger but like there's more to it there's more to the season that we saw um it definitely heated up once the tortoise ended and like we ended up in a new world that shit was that shit was honestly the best part of the season for me like when we were like it was kind of a mystery we didn't know how we got there and then freaking now for me finding his way out of the game that was my favorite part of the season i think the thing is the first season was pretty hard to top that's also another thing with people hating on it it's hard to top that first season because it was really solid and a lot of animes usually miss on the second season they can't even deliver on the second season this was pretty solid for a second season following up that level of good like it's pretty solid pretty consistent and the ending was uh solid of course Eo, he was a good villain um i wish i could have seen more of him like some episodes like you know he didn't really pop up like we we're still fighting the tortoise i guess so he didn't really have a role so we could have seen more of Kyo. But, you know, the final fight was cool. Him creating the wave, that was an insane twist. So, I like this season. Definitely not as good as last season. But people hating on it a little too much. Like, it was a solid season. Like, it wasn't that bad. People hating. No, nah, literally, when we got teleported to the new world, we were, like, hella confused. It was like, what the fuck's going on? But, like, it was just, we were down. We were like, that's, fuck that's, it. That's, that's the only plot hole. And other than that, it was really good. It was, the plot was filled. So, I mean, y'all know, care. and if y'all know, and we're just dumb, like, y'all let us know in the comments, like, why they got teleported in the first place, because we still don't know. But maybe <laughs> we're just a little dumb. I don't know. But, yeah, super cool. Super cool. Yeah. You guys give it a rating? For me, if y'all know or don't, I really don't do numbers with my ratings. I just say, uh, go great, almost go. Da, 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 da. I'm giving it good, really good, good, really good. It would be my tier. I can't put it in great, which would be on our tier list, a B. B? That, yeah. that sounds about right. I was gonna say like 7.5 out of 10, and the first season would be like a 8.5 to like 9 out of 10. For me, for me, I, like, I'll give the first season a 0.5 over a second. I think y'all like the first season a little more than I liked it. I didn't like it, it was around the same for me, but I'll mm. give the first season the edge. So yeah, the first season though, like, because now for me was just so against the world. That was on, that was really yeah, that the was first cool. That was, was really cool. cool. He was so against the world. Like, he got a little more teammates in this season, so that was yeah. the thing. But yeah, the second season was still valid. I give it like a B. It's definitely good. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this season. In the comments down below, let us know what you guys thought of the season. We want to know all your opinions, everything that you guys think. Let us know what you guys think of our opinions on it. Again, it was really solid, really fun to watch. Special shout out to Jake. If it wasn't for Jake, we would not have watched Shield Hero. She was like, he was like, gotta watch Shield Hero months before season two, honestly. When we first saw it was gonna come out, maybe like in the beginning of uh, the year, maybe a little before that. So shout out to him for suggesting it. It was a W anime. Now for me is goaded. Um, and yeah, let us know if y'all know what's next. Let us know if there's anything that we should know coming up, hopefully sooner than later. Season three question mark? I'd be hyped for it. So yeah, thanks for the support and we'll catch y'all in the next. Peace.